Okay, so we're just gonna be testing this sound, and if everything is alright, we're gonna be uh, starting right now. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about this subdivide curve node. It's a really easy to use node, and it's really simple. So we're just gonna be uh, taking a li uh, look at it. Okay, we're just gonna be able to create something like um, this that we have here. Okay, uh, as always, I'm gonna just start by um, creating the shape using the node, and after that, we're gonna be able to check the manual and see what's going on in there. You know, like the um, whole logic of that. Okay, um, so we're just gonna. We're just not gonna save this and uh, we can use this cube and we can create a new geometry node and after that we um, can go ahead and uh, add the nodes okay so the first node that we're gonna be adding it's gonna be maybe like um, a curve primitive so this curve primitive can be like a curved circle okay um, and after that, we're going to be just um, connecting that curve to a subdivide uh, curve node that it's going to be here. So you can just uh, subdivide curve. And uh, you're going to be able to see that if we go to the control points, uh, we have 64. And if we add um, cuts, like if we cut that, we're going to be seeing more points you know more and more and more uh like right now we have uh already just let me check well um there are more points than they there were like before you see like we have now um 160 points so um, that's why um that's what this node does you know you can say it like uh, a simple view but you can like uh, say it in the spreadsheet editor but um, if we want to see it like uh, like with our own eyes we can just go ahead and um, first of all uh, you can add something like a curve to mesh node this one you connect it, anything's going on right now, of course. Um, but then, if we add a profile curve, and that curve is maybe, I don't know, like, uh, oh, sorry. If that curve is uh, another circle, so here, and we just connect it, we can see this circle now, okay? And we we can say like okay, but that's I mean that says anything, you know. But if you start like checking the subdivide the cuts, um, we're gonna be able to see more. Okay. Um, something interesting is that I, I I'm going to change the radius of this, maybe a little bit bigger, and I'm going to change this radius also, a little bit smaller. Oh, well, let's just not make it disappear. And now that we have this, we can increase the resolution of this circle, maybe a little bit. And, um, well, I guess that, um, that'll be it. Let me just check. Okay, yeah, perfect. So, um, if we decrease the cuts, we're just gonna be able to see like the difference, you know. Like this is, this is literally uh, c cutting the, um, the, um, cutting the sh the mesh. Okay, so let's just uh, try also to extrude extrude this mesh. So let's just go here, extrude mesh, and connect it. And you see now we have the shape that we were. Uh, seeing before uh, well like a similar shape and this is because like if we for example decrease the cuts we're gonna be seeing something more uh, I don't know like more lame like without 
those divisions, you know, because the curve is not divided. But if we start adding, we're going to be able to see that this is, I mean, this shape is getting some divisions. And that's because the cuts are increasing. So basically, the curve is dividing. And when you extrude the mesh, you can see uh, that division, you know. So um, that's basically it. Well, you can play a little bit with that and make some, I don't know, some funny things. Okay. Um, I just want us to check the, the manual. Uh, this is going to be really short because uh, in this case, like this node, as you can see, is really simple. It only has like the, the, the curve uh, entry and the curve and the curve output. So and the count of the uh, of the cuts of the cuts. So um, uh, well, the manual says that the subdivide curve, no curve node adds more control point in between existing control points on the curve input. So uh, this is what I just told you that we can see in the spreadsheet editor. Okay, for Bezier and poly splines, the shape of the spline will not be changed at all. Okay, so you have to keep in mind that um, these type of splines are not gonna be are not gonna be affected by this um, by this node, okay? And um, let's just try to let's just try to test that. Uh, so let's just go to Blender again, and um, okay, let me check. So maybe we can add. Um, here we have the curve primitives. We have a Bezier segment, for example. Let's just see what happens if we uh, use this Bezier segment. Okay, so let's just connect it here. Okay, so as you can see, well, like in this case, uh, they, they seem to be changed, to be changing. Uh, so let's just try that different option. So curve primitives, um, let's just try with this uh, quadratic base here. Well, it seems like it works. So uh, I don't know if that changed and they haven't like, um, like modified that information in the manual, but it seems like it works, okay? Um, it says like with Bezier curves, this this can be used to increase the control of the uh, on the shape of the curve while still having the higher level provided by Bezier splines, like this resample curve node. Okay, so you're not gonna be losing like quality uh, where they are converted to poly splines because with the resample curve node, the Bezier nodes are convert are converted to poly splines. Okay. Um, the inputs are like the curve, so you you just put the curve here, and then the cuts. You can put like the number of of, of control points that you want to create um, on that like uh, segment. Um, and then it says like when the input is a file, the number of cuts for a segment is determined by the value of the file when evaluated at the previous point. Okay, so um, what this is saying is basically that um, if the input is like um, a file, like that number of cuts, it's gonna be just like, um, it's just gonna be like determined by the, by the value of the file when evaluated at the previous point. I mean, uh, what this is saying is that um, this file, it's going to just check like um, the point that was like just before that, um, just before that point. Because uh, if you remember, like files are like zero, I mean, files start in zero. So this is going to be taking the information of the previous, um, of the previous point, okay? Um, in the properties, we just, uh, well, we don't have properties. And in the outputs, uh, it's like the curve, okay? The curve that goes 
out at the end okay so well that'll be basically it with this um with this note it's really interesting i think because you can like i don't know like start dividing this mesh you know you see like this is really really something weird so um i guess that's like uh an interesting thing to do you know you can play a little bit with this and divide the mesh um well the curve uh and turn it into a mesh and all of that i mean you can do whatever you want basically okay so um thank you for watching this video and i hope uh we can see each other again uh for the next time uh also please remember to like and subscribe and um and to follow us okay so please just uh you can also find like a playlist uh that we have with all the of the geometry notes okay and thank you